Welcome to ABCD. Today, we'll be solving another math question. At a mart, apple pies were sold at 5 for 3.30 and peach pies were sold at 4 for 6.80. Ariel bought an equal number of apple pies and peach pie and she paid $62.40 more for the peach pies than for the apple pies. How much did she pay for all the pies she bought? Okay, so for this question, we are supposed to write out what we know first. Okay, so what do we know? We know that 5 apple. Okay, cost 330. Then, 4 peach. Cost 6.80 This is what we know Okay, but because you see uh, One of them is in terms of 4s And one of them is in terms of 5s So we can't really um, use the figures offhand Unless we divide by each unit Like each apple and each peach Which is one possible way as well But in this case we are not going to do that Okay, because they are sold in sets Okay, so what are we going to do? Between 4 and 5, what is the common multiple? Which means what number can be divisible by 4 and divisible by 5? Ding, 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 ding. Ah, okay, so 20. Why? 4 times 5 gives me 20. So 20 can divide by 4, 20 can divide by 5. So if I change this to 20 apple, okay, um, 4 times 3, 30, this one will give me 13, 20. Okay. Then if I have 20 peach here, this one will times 5, so 36. As in 6, 80 times 5 will give me 34. Correct? Okay, so now between the same number of um the same number of apples and peach, right? We will find the difference in the money. Different in pricing. And this will be equals to 34 minus 13, 20. And this will actually give us 2080. Okay, so for every same unit, which is 20, every 20 units, um, pH will be 2080 more. So look at the answer, uh, look at the amount they give us, which is $62.40. So how many 2080 can we find here? So the number of sets, right, will be equal to 62. 40 divided by 2080 and this will give us 3 therefore we know that there's 3 sets one set has 20 each so there will be 60 apple and 60 peach okay so if it's 60 then we will know that because uh, we see here the figures here we know that 20 sets is this price. So the total, right, will actually be equals to 3 times 1320 plus 3 times 34. And this will give me us a total of 141.60. And this will be the answer for this question. That's it for this episode. We hope that you have learned something new. The link to the worksheets are available in the description below. See ya!